Will the real estate market boom or is it gonna crash? I'm gonna give you the truth and it might not be what you've been seeing in the headlines. So let's get into it. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Connor Green. I'm a realtor here in Tampa Bay and I'm gonna give you the five main factors that I think are gonna play into whether the real estate market is gonna be booming or crashing this year. So the first thing is gonna be inflation. So inflation wise, we're probably looking at about 8% this year. And real estate, historically speaking, just on the data, has outperformed the inflation by one to two points. A point just means a percent. Just a fancy way of saying percent. Should have just said percent. Anyway, one to two percent. So if you're gonna have 8% inflation, most likely real estate market wise, you're going to have nine to 10% appreciation and I would say that's more on like a national scale. So that's a national average. So if you have markets that are a little bit hotter, like Florida, probably gonna be a little bit above that. If you have markets that are cooler and maybe cooled off, you know, very much so for one reason or the other, if some big company just moved out of the town, maybe that's gonna be a little bit below it. Maybe you're gonna be about six or 7%. The third factor out of the five is gonna be the influx of inventory we have from new builds. So you're gonna be having a lot of new construction coming to the market, which, you know, you kind of wonder, okay, well, is there gonna to be too much new construction? And if there's too much new construction, then we'll have more homes than people really wanna buy. I don't think that's gonna be the case. I think that you're gonna have some buyers who are gonna be satisfied by this new homes coming in the market, but it's still not gonna satisfy demand out there. There's so many buyers who are not even really in the market anymore just because they got so fed up with bidding wars and losing offers and stuff like that, that they just decided to take a break on the bench. So I think the buyers who are currently in the market, some of them will buy those homes. And some of the buyers that are on the bench who just kind of got a little winded, you know, they're gonna catch their second wind and they're gonna come out and they're gonna, they're gonna buy a home too. And maybe it's one of those new builds. The fourth factor that's gonna play into this is the rising interest rate. And so by the end of this year, I think you're gonna see interest rates above 4%. Interest rates just naturally had to come up with all the inflation that's been going on. And so the Fed really didn't have anything else to do. Uh, I was surprised it actually took them this long. But the thing with the interest rates is that even if they go up, they're still historically very low. And so the affordability of homes is still, interest rates wise, still within the relative ballpark. So I don't think that the rising interest rates is going to dissuade buyers too much. Because there, again, there's just so many people that need to buy a home and want to buy a home that the demand is going to be greater than both the interest rates going up a little bit and prices going up a little bit too. So the fifth factor that's gonna play into it is going to be the influx of people. So do you have a lot of people coming into your state or do you have a lot of people coming out of your state? And in Florida, we have a massive influx of people still coming in. Yes, a lot of people came in at the beginning of COVID because they no longer had to work in Chicago or you know, New Jersey or New York and freeze their butts off. They came down here and I've had friends and family that have you know, smelled the coffee and come down too, as well as you know, clients and stuff I got referred to or people I didn't know. So I think Florida wise, since we're having a massive influx that are still coming in even still, we're going to continue to have that demand being sustained and lifted up because we just keep having more and more people coming in and the inventory is you know, really not keeping up. As far as your specific area, drop a comment below and let me know if you think your area is having a massive influx too and the demand's gonna keep up or if it's you know, gonna be heading out of your state and maybe it's gonna be cooling down. At the end of the day, none of the data or none of the main factors we just look at it from a logic standpoint and not an emotion standpoint for not following sensationalist headlines is I do not see a crash coming anytime soon. In fact, you're gonna be seeing again about nine to 10% at least appreciation this year in homes, which if we're talking about a $500,000 home, that's $50,000. And I think we're gonna see about the same thing for this year and the following year. And so you're gonna see two strong years of that. And so that does make a big difference. So if you've been thinking about upgrading or downsizing, it's still an awesome opportunity to do that. Now, the biggest question that I have clients ask when they do want to take advantage of upgrading or downsizing is how can I sell my home in this amazing market if I also can't find a home in this market because there's not a lot of inventory. I've created two programs, my sell, stay, search program and my off market property program to consistently solve both of those problems. To find out more about both of those programs or to schedule a no pressure, no BS consultation, Feel free to either like this video and comment below, or you can reach out to me you know, via Instagram or send me an email, message me through my website, or even just give me a call or shoot me a text. But there you go, guys. There's the truth about the market this year and where it's heading so that you can make the best decision for you and your family. Until next time, this is Connor Green. Have a blessed day.